What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is great to see you here again. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to remove that background noise in your audio track. And we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve to do it. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Jay Yudlovsky and on this channel, we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, a little photography, some Photoshop Lightroom, and even some gear stuff, cause everybody loves some gear stuff, right? So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. Now let's jump into this video. All right, so we've all been there. You recorded your audio, you think it's sounding good, you get it back into the computer and you realize, oh man, what is that in the background? I hear a fan going, or I hear a, a low humming noise, or I hear uh, maybe some people talking quietly in the background. And you're like, ah, I gotta get that out of there. I don't want that there. I just wanna hear my main audio track. So there's a couple different ways that we can try and reduce or eliminate that noise. One thing you gotta keep in mind is that depending on what that background noise sounds like, for example, if it's loud people talking, or say it's uh, music playing in the background behind a voice and the music is kind of loud, there's no magic tool that's gonna separate those things within your one audio track and give you just your voice and get rid of say the music in the background that you don't want. You're probably not gonna be able to reduce or get rid of that music or maybe some loud people talking in the background. It's not some magical trick here that we got to take out the background noise and really separate things from a single track. So keep that in mind. The next thing you wanna try and do is just be aware of your environment when you're actually filming. So you wanna try and keep things as quiet as you can or isolate things, use directional microphones. Um, in my little studio here, I got blankets hanging up all over the place to try and stop some echo. So you wanna do what you can in your camera or in your environment before you record to make sure you're getting the best sounding audio that you can. So now we're gonna jump over into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you a few different ways that we can try and remove some background noise. I filmed a sample clip of myself with a fan going in the background, and I'm gonna show you a few of the techniques that I would use to try and remove background noise. Some of them work, some of them don't. You gotta just try it, and it's really specific to your clip. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you these couple tips. Oh, and one thing before we jump into DaVinci Resolve, one thing you're gonna to wanna to use is a good pair of headphones or some good speakers. That's how you're gonna notice the biggest difference here in these tools that we're gonna be using. So I've got some uh, Sony headphones here. I'll leave a link in the description down below in case you wanna go check them out. But some good headphones or some good speakers uh, are a must when you're trying to figure out audio stuff and really hear the little differences and nuances between different things you're doing with the audio. All right, let's jump into Resolve and check it out. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got the same clip copied a few times onto a few different tracks here. And I'm gonna show you a few different techniques we can use to try and get rid of that background noise. So first let's play through the clip so you can hear the background noise. Again, I ran a fan in the background and that's what you'll hear. So here's what the clip sounds like without anything done to it. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Cool. All right, so that's the clip without anything done to it. You can hear the fan in the background and you can even hear a little voice from a few little munchkins. So let's go back to this clip. And what I wanna do is jump over into the Fairlight tab to start working with these clips. So to get in the Fairlight tab, click on the little musical notes at the bottom here. All right, so now that we're here in the Fairlight tab, the first thing I wanna try is working with some dynamics. So this is my first track right here. And in order to turn on the dynamics and start working with them, you wanna come over to your mixer. If you don't see your mixer, come to the top here. You can toggle your mixer on and off. Come down to my track one, which is the track I'll be working with. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says dynamics. And if for some reason you don't see dynamics there, you can come to these three little dots here, click on it and make sure you have dynamics checked on. So in order to open the dynamics, just double click on the dynamics area. So the first thing we wanna try is using a gate. So a gate is basically a tool that says anything below a certain level that you set, I want you to reduce or drop the volume, let's say, of that signal. So anything that's below at this point, minus 35 on my meters. So if I come over here, anything that's below this level right here, say minus 35, will get reduced. So if I just come and make sure all these are reset, you can just double click on each one of these wheels, then you know everything is set to its original state. So let's play through just by turning on the gate, nothing else, turn it on, let's play through and see how it sounds compared to the original. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. 
Okay, so you can hear there, it reduced it quite a bit. So if I come back here, I'm gonna play through with the gate off and then turn it on and you can hear the difference. So you can see there, pretty big difference. It drops it down quite a bit. Now you did notice when I was talking, it was a little bit choppy. So you'd have to go through and adjust your settings a little bit um, in order to kind of clean that up. So even with just the default settings there, it does sound pretty good. And you can come in and make some adjustments to here. I'm not gonna go over every one of these tools right now, but you can come in and make adjustments and modify that sound to sound better, take away more, take away less. Uh, for example, if I adjust the range here, it's gonna take that decibel level and drop it down even lower once it gets past the threshold. And again, just double click on there to reset it to the default settings. So the gate's basically gonna take away any of that background noise in between the parts of you talking. So the gate's a great tool and I use it pretty much on every single video. And since we're gonna be playing the same tracks over and over again, a quick tip here to be able to just loop a little section is if you come to this tool here, the selector, and you just window over an area that you wanna repeat, I'm gonna turn on my looper, and if you press option and forward slash, which I'll show you in a second here, that'll allow the clip here to keep looping so we can hear the differences. So the next thing that I wanna try working with is a little EQ. And sometimes you can take out background noise with an EQ and sometimes you can't. If you have, say, a high-pitched uh, noise, it might sit at a certain frequency and you may be able to just grab that frequency, drop it down and get rid of it. So it depends on the kind of background noise, but this is another technique you can try. And I'm gonna show you here what it's like if we try using it, um, and it may work, it may not. So let's give it a whirl here. So I'm gonna to come to my EQ, and sometimes if you're scrolling over here, you can't get to the part you want. So I find it helpful to come over and maybe just turn off a few of these sometimes. And then once you turn off a few of those, you see now I can get to my EQ. I don't know why they make the scrolling a little weird there. But anyway, double click on your EQ to bring it up. So now I'm gonna play through this section here and then I'm gonna adjust the EQ. So depending on the kind of noise that you have, for this one, for example, it's like a uh, the fan sounds almost like a static noise and I know it's in the upper register of the EQ, the upper frequencies, so I'm gonna show you how that works. But in order to start this playback to loop, make sure you got your loop button checked up here and I'm gonna press option and All right, what's up slash. guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Cool. So you can see there by bringing down those high frequencies, it does take out some of that background noise. It helps a little bit, but you notice it also changes the audio a little bit. So now I'm gonna just turn off this uh, band six here. I'm gonna grab band five, change my type to the second guy down here. And I'm just gonna sweep it around a little bit on the EQ with my point number five to see if I can find somewhere where maybe I can just pull down part of the frequency so it doesn't affect the voice so much. So I'm gonna come back and use the loop button to play through this clip again. Looks like my loop is still on. And I'm gonna use option or alt forward slash and play through the clip and adjust my EQ to see if I can find a frequency I might be able to drop down to get rid of some of that noise. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Cool. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Cool. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Cool. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove. Okay, so see, I just tried a bunch of different things here just to see if I could hear a difference. And in this case, it works a little bit to reduce the high-end frequencies here, but I don't think that this is the way I would go. Um, it's not really giving me a result that I want. I think it's making the voice sound not so good, and um, I probably wouldn't use this method on this particular clip. But keep in mind, if you have one frequency that's giving you a high-pitched whine or something, maybe you can boost one of these up, sweep around, find it, and then drop that frequency down, and it may get rid of it. I've had that happen before, and it can work very well. Moving on to the next method that you can try is the noise reduction that comes as part of DaVinci Resolve. This noise reduction comes in the free version and in the studio version. 
and we're going to give it a try here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's worth a try though to see if it'll help out your clip. So the first thing I want to do is come over to my track. In this case, I'm on Noise Reduction DaVinci Resolve, and this is actually an effect. So you want to click on the effects. You want to come down to Noise Reduction, Fairlight, and Noise Reduction. And that's gonna bring up the noise reduction tool here for you. So you've got a bunch of different options here. I'm not gonna go over every single one of these and how they work. You can try starting with the auto speech mode and see how that does. So let's start with that. I'm gonna play through the clip and see how it sounds. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so in that part, we can see it helps a little if we turn it off and then turn it on while we're playing. Let's see what happens. So you can hear it's definitely reducing the background noise. You can also tell it to learn the area of the background noise. So you need a section that has just the background noise. You can't do it if there's talking. But if you have a section like I do here with no talking, I can go to manual, click learn, play through a little bit of the clip, and DaVinci Resolve is going to learn what that noise sounds like and hopefully eliminate it. So I'm gonna stop there and if I come back to the beginning of my clip and we play through. What's up guys, here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. So you can see it gets quite loud if I turn it off there. So again, you're gonna to have to play with some of these settings here. Ones you can try to begin with is the frequency smoothing. If you boost it up to two, I find that helps a little bit, smooth it out. Cause you can hear that audio of me talking gets a little weird sounding. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it does, it sounds a little weird. So you can also try boosting the wet dry mix. And what that means is dry is no effect. Wet at a hundred percent is the full uh, power of the effect being applied to your audio clip or audio track in this case. So you can try those things and adjust the other settings too, which I'm not gonna go over right now, but you can try to work with this noise reduction tool and sometimes it does work pretty good. And you did see a difference here in the area where I just had noise in the background, it did reduce it. So that's one option for you to try out. All right, and the last option that I have here is third-party plugins. So you can get VST plugins for DaVinci Resolve from different places, different companies make them. Recently, I did a review of the AccuSonos plugins and they have a noise remover there that works really well. So I'm gonna show you how that works on this clip. Maybe it works good, maybe it doesn't. Again, you need to try all these things and see which technique works best for your situation. So I'm on my track here. I wanna come over to my track, come and add the effect and for me, I know it's down under uncategorized VST, and actually it's under AU here, and come to noise remover. So I'm gonna leave this at the default, which is 40% processing. If you wanna know more about these plugins, I'll link to the video up top of the screen here. You can go over and check out the review I did on all these different plugins. They're pretty good. So you can go check that out if you're interested. So let's play through this clip and we're at 40% here processing. And what's nice about this uh, noise remover here, it's just one dial and that's it. So let's play through and hear how it sounds with the processing at 40%. All right, what's up guys? Here's a test. We're gonna try and remove the background noise. I have a fan going over here. Got a little bit of background noise and we're gonna try and remove it right here in DaVinci Resolve. And if I turn it off. Cool. So you can hear that that does a pretty good job of removing the background noise too. But I also noticed it does make, you know, my talking sound a little weird too, a little I don't know, processed, pixelated. I don't even know how to describe it, but it makes it sound a little weird. So maybe we need to just drop it back, reduce it or whatever. Um, or, you know, if you cranked it all the way up, you would definitely kill all the noise here. Let's just, there you go. See, it doesn't get anything through. So that can work out pretty good too. So you would just need to play with the settings a little bit. You can boost the output on this one um, a little bit if you need to. And there's different ways that this plugin will process the noise and reduce the noise. All right, guys, so there you go. There's a few different ways that you can try and reduce that background noise right here in DaVinci Resolve. And again, some of them are going to work, some of them are not. And if the background noise is too much, you may not even be able to do anything with it. You might have a clip that just is either stuck with background noise or you got to redo it or maybe you got to junk it. I don't know. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more specifics about how to use any one of these tools, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to make a video about any one of these tools and a little more in depth about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.